Okay, we're gonna do the inline double loop eight on a bite. Now to do this, I already have to have my double loop eight on a bite on the end. That's what I've got here, my three, two knot, one, two, three, two with my two loops. And I measure five feet from the bottom of this, which is about right there. I'm gonna turn my left hand over and this is still facing towards my anchor. I'm gonna make the okay sign around the rope and then I'm gonna wrap three fingers. Now again, I've gotta make about 18 inches. This loop be about 18 inches long. I wanna make sure I'm pulling from the bag side when I do this, so I don't shorten up my five foot distance. So I've got about 12, 18 inches there. Now I'm gonna go under the rope and back over the rope. And it's very important that I don't flop here because I can't have any twists. So I'm gonna stay in plane. Under, over, and around under everything. So everything's laying flat still. I've got two loops. I've got a right loop and a left loop here. Now the two on the bottom in my right loop are the ones I'm gonna come back for. So I'm just gonna pinch those under my thumb for easy keeping track of them. And my tail end here that's got my double loop bait on a bite is gonna go from top to bottom through this loop, this left loop. So top to bottom, I'm gonna feed that through. Take all the slack out and I'm gonna chase it back up with my right hand. So I'm just following it back up through this loop grabbing those two that my left thumb were holding in place. And now I'm gonna grab my standing part. I've got two loops here at my knuckles. The one that's closest to my knuckles ends up going towards the anchor or farthest away. Okay, so I can flip this over now. I lay it up there. I'm gonna grab my standing part again and my right hand is just gonna pull and work those, that double bite that I just made through here. So if I dress this out, Look at it. This only needs to be big enough to put a carabiner through. It shows as a three one. So one, two, three, and a one with my double loop here. That's it. So this would be attached to our rescuer's back and this goes on our victim when we rappel down to them to secure them to one of our lines, our belay line right away.